your kind kills my kind, when all we do is hide in the shadows to eat the pests that follow you. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about brown recluse spiders. So these are spiders that have a really bad reputation. I live in Missouri and this is an area where we have a lot of brown recluse. They're probably in every home, even if you've never seen one. Their name, brown recluse, are quite descriptive of them because they are very reclusive and they're brown. So, whoever thought of that unique common name, good job. Now, I don't come across brown recluse very often, but when I do, I try to catch them and lately I've been actually hoping to find one so that I can make this video and show you guys what a brown recluse looks like. So this mature male yeeted from under my refrigerator a few days ago. That's probably the only way I could describe it because he ran so fast. These things can really bolt if they want to. He is a mature male, I'm pretty sure. He's very leggy. I've seen females and they're much bigger and bulkier. That said, they're not a very bulky spider like at all. They're very thin and they have very long, fragile legs. And one of the main ways that you can identify a brown recluse from other spiders, other than the fact that they have the fiddle on their back, is their eyes. They actually have six eyes instead of eight eyes and they're in two sets. So that's actually really interesting. I also noticed that they do shine in the light like a wolf spider. So why is everybody afraid of brown recluse? Why are brown recluse so misunderstood? I think it's fear. They are very feared spiders because they are one of two medically significant spiders in the United States. We have black widows and brown recluse. So, black widows are also very solitary spiders and they're also not likely to bite you, but same with brown recluse, they're very reclusive, they don't come out often, but you do hear about My friend's cousin niece got bit by a brown recluse and she lost her whole arm! Cases where the necrosis of brown recluse venom actually comes into play normally aren't that extreme and they're definitely not very frequent. They are rare. I believe it's about 1 in 10 bites actually get the necrosis effect and the things that you see online a lot of times are actually not even brown recluse bites. Doctors commonly misdiagnose infections as brown recluse bites. They'll misdiagnose a bunch of different skin infections with brown recluse Bites. Normally a brown recluse bite will just cause some stinging and some swelling and redness, but there are more serious side effects systemically that can come with it. So if you get bit, you're always going to want to watch it, of course. People normally don't get bit from brown recluse though because rarely do they ever come out and rarely do you see them. The most common way that a person will be bit is if there is a brown recluse in their pants or something and they put them on. See, brown recluse have these really teeny tiny little fangs, so in order for them to actually penetrate your skin, they have to be pressed up against you. Also, their first defense is actually going to run away from you. They're not going to run towards you and try to bite you. And even if they did, they probably wouldn't even penetrate the skin. It's just not something that is in their behavior. So they're made out to be these very aggressive spiders, these very venomous spiders. And while they are very venomous, it's just not what the internet makes it out to be. Shocking, I know. A lot of people also will say that they found a brown recluse in their house, but they'll live in like Michigan. There are not brown recluse in Michigan. So brown recluse are actually in a very compact area of the United States and there's other species too so this is just one specific kind of species but in order to make you guys not totally fear them I just wanted to show you guys my friend's Instagram because he's actually somebody who breeds brown recluse so if you guys want to follow him his Instagram is Nick Kruger 99 and <laughs> He has a lot of spiders, so you can see lots and lots of spiders that he breeds and handles. When I first got into the tarantula hobby and I came across him, I thought he was crazy. Maybe he is a little bit, but here, here's a different species of a brown recluse, as you can see. Very interesting. But as you see, he's handling these spiders, and if they were so defensive, do you really think that he would have never been bitten except one time? He will handle these spiders all the time, but he's only been bit one time, and it was while he was gardening by a black widow. Fun facts about Nick. So I'm just kind of scrolling through, and here is another. Ooh, this one's from Chile. Very cool. Oh, here's one. Yep, this is the same species, I believe, as the one that I found. Oh my gosh. 
This is one of the images that I saw when I first started following him on Instagram and I was shocked. It is so crazy. But as you see, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brown recluse in his hand and not one bit him. So, not the monster they're made to be. So, am I saying you should go pick up a whole bunch of brown recluse and take a picture? No. Honestly, I wouldn't even touch one. But I'm just making this an example. It's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope this gives you... Ugh. So yeah, I hope this gave you guys some insight on the brown recluse, their behaviors, what they look like, how you can identify one. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I just was waiting for a brown recluse to show up. So let's thank our volunteer here. And yeah, that is all I have to say today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not a want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. Thanks. Hello there. Now that the human has finally shut up, it's my turn to talk. Your kind kills my kind when all we do is hide in the shadows to eat the pests that follow you. The only time we will waste our venom on a person is when we're scared. Check your shoes if you live in the same area as us. We don't know any better, and when a person applies pressure, we all bite out of fear. We fear you just as much as you fear us, but you are much more of a threat. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for an update. Human has decided to keep me as a pet and is making me a new enclosure. See you soon and farewell. One more thing, I'm not poisonous, I'm venomous.